Hey, Renee. Hey, everybody. It is Sunday. And I am going to do my best. Hi, Carrie. Uh, to multitask here. I am going to um, uh, do Periscope and Facebook Live for the first time. So, um, have a little bit of duality going on. But today, I want to talk to you guys about period of rest and the importance of uh, having rest and the, when we are doing a lot and when we are experiencing a lot of things we tend to forget about ourselves and what we do and where we go and just we have to nurture ourselves and that's the the pretty much the topic of today and I know those who typically follow me on uh, Periscope and those are joining me for the first time live on Facebook. <laughs> so if you guys see my eyes wandering off, it's uh, because I'm going between, you know, my phone, tablet, because I have uh, regular followers on Periscope. And if you guys are following me on Periscope, guys flip over to Facebook because that's where I'm going to be possibly doing all my future live streamings uh, from here on out. So, for those of you that don't know me and know of me, uh, my name is Hillis, and you can find out all things about me at hillispew.com. So, I'm going to wait a few more moments for other people to uh, chime on in. And if you guys are experiencing difficulties uh, doing the stream, you guys can definitely uh, catch it on the replay on Periscope, or you guys can keep watching the uh, live Facebook stream on uh, the Facebook. Renee, <laughs> uh, you going to Facebook? Okay, so yeah, see you on Facebook. Um, so I'm doing this a little bit differently because usually I have notes that I like to take and um, really just to keep my thoughts together. But just want to kind of keep it like an open channel today. So I want to um, start off by reading an excerpt of my upcoming book, Awaken with Gratitude, and the excerpt is called Period of Rest, which is the title of this topic. So, most of us tend not to listen to our thoughts. We ignore the first thought or warning of something being wrong. Our mind reboots our overall physical and mental systems. This leaves us with our spiritual system to guide us. There are days and times where we rely on our spiritual energy to guide us. The spiritual system or energy is flawless. We are not attuned and or aligned with our system, guide, or our guardian. We are flying blind. The period of rest is a critical state of evolution for the spiritual energy contained within us. This period of rest comes about unexpectedly. However, there are signs revealed to you, letting you know it is time to rest. The signs are different for all, yet you recognize them. The spirit knows when to renew itself, and the mind and body follow in agreement. You have enough time and energy to complete the task expected when needed, nothing more. Oh, hi, Michelle. Hi, everybody. Hey! <laughs> so, you guys are just uh, tuning in to me reading an excerpt titled uh, Period of Rest, which is the title of this live stream, which is an upcoming excerpt of my book, Awaken with Gratitude. And today, I just want to really go ahead and really discuss the importance of it. And those who usually follow me on Periscope and on my first time on Facebook Live, is that I usually have more than one Periscope. I think this is my first live stream in, I don't know, about a month. So I miss you all uh, so much. I'm glad I am doing this back again. I'm going to make it a regular habit. 
So, I want to hear from you guys, and those that don't know me, this is pretty much interactive. So, I want to hear from you guys with a simple yes or no. How many of you guys feel that you guys are run down, stressed out, and have uh, too much on your plate, feeling overwhelmed? So, just type a simple yes or no if you guys feel like that at any point of your day, any point of your week. Yes, not at this moment. That's good. <laughs> so if you guys are going to see me bouncing back and forth, I have a Facebook Live on my phone here and Periscope down here. So I'm going to be doing my best to interact with all of you guys. Um, so, yeah, so Rocky, anyone else? Um, hot dog on Periscope. So, yeah, yes, all the time. So, that, so if you're feeling overwhelmed and you have a lot on your plate, then it's time to really look and what it is that you have on your plate. What it is, how can you better organize your time, how you can better uh, delegate some things to other people, or what is it that it is that you absolutely can just get rid of altogether. Because basically, the period of rest is not only a time of a renewal, it's a time of really looking at what it is that you have going on. And when I say that, I really mean for you to take a really deep, hard, honest look at what it is that you are experiencing in your, in your life. And by that I mean it's, you know, obviously, you know, you have things that you have to take care of. You have children to take care of. You have house and home. You have a job. You have, you know, the necessities that you have to have in your life. But at the same time, you allow more of a burden to come into your world. And what I mean by burden, you allow yourself to be overwhelmed by taking on more responsibility. Yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, you have your, uh, you feel overwhelmed. You feel, uh, like, um, out of, uh, not only guilt. I can't, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, Someone help me out. That's what I'm looking for. Uh, but it's like when we become overwhelmed and we do things because we feel the need to or we have to. Because if we don't do it, we feel bad if we don't get the necessary help that we receive. So, with that being said, when we take a really hard look at our personal space when we take a really hard look at what we have all on our plate oh one of my vs goes hi dan i miss you so much um yes infinite time yes we do have infinite time to create but yes michelle thank you that was the word i was looking for obligated we feel obligated to really take care of everything that we have to take care of and we don't and we feel guilty if we don't get to that uh to that obligation then we feel bad, then we feel guilty, then we are at like, oh my goodness, what am I going to do now? You know, so we have to really look at the time called a period of rest to allow ourselves to really not only recharge, but to allow ourselves to let things fall to the wayside and really say, okay, is this, a is this a necessity that I have in my life or is it something that I can really do without? So how many people, and those of you that are joining me for the first time today, I am pretty interactive when it comes to my live streaming videos. So I want to hear from you guys, uh, uh, how many of you all feel like you all can let at least one thing go? Because that's going to be your homework for the next, I don't know, two weeks. What is the one thing that you guys can feel you can do without to allow yourself to be recharged, refreshed? So, I want to hear from you guys. What's the one thing? And one thing you guys can do without. And uh, I guess I can go first. What is, what is one thing that I can do without? Uh, <laughs> well, it's, a, it's a really hard question. What is the one thing I could do without? Um, I don't know. Uh, this that's even something I can't even answer myself here. So if no one answers, don't feel pressure to answer. Just think about it because I'm going to sit here and think about it and maybe come back with the answer later. Stop checking my friend's call. Yes, uh, Hot Dog. Sorry, you guys. Like I'm on Facebook Live and on Periscope. So Hot Dog Live on Periscope said, Stop taking his friend's phone calls when he doesn't feel like it. See, that's a really good one. 
I can do without taking on others' energy. Yes, because taking other people's energy can also drain you. So we have to really think not only in the physical sense, but also in the metaphysical and the spiritual sense and what things that we allow in our presence, that we allow in the space in which we live. And um, there was something that came to my mind earlier that was... Uh, real urgent because it just wouldn't leave my mind even now it still doesn't leave my mind and how um, especially when you are building a business especially when you are building a, a brand when you're building a presence and you know before we had social media before we had the internet it was a lot simpler a little bit more contained in what we can do and, and we felt limited and now with the presence of social media, there is not a lot of um, limitation. There's not a lot of... Uh, every, everything's infinite. There's infinite possibilities when we allow ourselves to, to be in this place, place when we're building the presence, building a brand and connected with our friends and family. You know, there's no distance between anything anymore. There's a quick call and there is... there it is. And so, and what I, what came to me was that we, in order to recharge and to rest and rejuvenate, we have to disconnect, to reconnect. And what I mean by that is that we have to allow our space, our time, our energy to disconnect from the social media. We have to disconnect from the any external sources that we feel are draining us, period. And we connect to our source, we connect to who we really are, connect to what really fills us up, brings us joy. And if being on social media, if being, you know, connected in that way, you know, builds you up, then by all means, stay connected to it. But disconnect from anything that you feel is taken away from who you are, that is taken away from your energy, that is completely draining you and if it means that it's not taking people's phone calls or if it's uh you know staying away from social media or if it's uh you know not doing anything that you don't feel is good then stop doing it and if it's for a week two weeks three weeks however long you feel that you need to stay away from that energy to recharge before you step back into it and by all means do it because uh when we all have a place of work. We all have a place that we go to outside of our home. And we go there and by the end of the day we feel drained if it's something that we're not passionate about, it's something that's just paying the bills. Then we come back into our personal space feeling tired. It's like, okay, this is not who I am. I need to be more than this. So what do we do? We drop everything at the door and then we find a way to recharge ourselves. Yes, and so like Rocky just said, release things that are not necessary. So look inside yourself and feel what's the best way to release what is not you, to release what's not necessary to keep things going in your everyday. Does that make sense to everyone? Just type a simple yes or just a yay, whatever makes you feel good. Because that's what, that's what my live streams are about. It's about making people feel good. And for those that have joined late, for those of you that, um, hey, Kristen, if you want, you can um, pop in on Facebook. I'm on Facebook now, too. Um, for those of you that are just popping in, you can find out more about me at hillispew.com. And uh, you can definitely... Um, watch the replay on Periscope or continue to watch, watch here. So yes, uh, definitely Michelle, for sure. Um, <laughs> reminds me of what you said, reminds me. Yes, exactly. So, getting rid of all the noise. Do your best to bring forth something that eases it. Yes. So no matter what it is, we really have to have that thing always in the back of our head that makes us feel good. Because a period of rest, and just want to emphasize this because this is what the topic is, it's a period of rest. A period of rest is more than just getting eight hours of sleep at night. A period of rest 
is disconnecting from all things that are sucking you dry, you know, sucking all your energy that's, you know, taken away from your core, taken away from who you are as a person, as a spirit, as an entity here on this planet to learn your lesson. And so when we have the time that we dedicate to ourselves to release and to take away and to disconnect from all that is not serving our higher purpose, all that is not serving who we really are, then we uh, allow ourselves to connect to something even more, something greater. So when we do decide if stepping back into the energy is worth our time and energy, that we are better prepared, that we better charged up to take on whatever it is that we have allowed to bring forth in that space and that energy. Does it make sense to everyone? Yay! I hope so. Um, if not, you guys can keep watching it over and over and over again until you guys get it. Um, and just for those that are popping in, we are talking about the importance of a period of rest. And just want to know if you guys have any questions. Yes, Kristen. Um, if you guys have any questions or any concerns that you guys really want to bring up and really want to hash out in regards to disconnecting and reconnecting and just getting charged up and getting ready. Because um, for me personally, I don't know why I haven't done uh, video streaming in about a month. I felt like it's been a, been a month, maybe it has. And, you know, just when you find yourself getting busy and getting caught up in the worldliness of the day and of the times, and, oh my goodness, J JDC, I miss you, Jackie. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, so, yeah. And so, if you guys are really want to, like, really find a time and a place and energy to disconnect and reconnect, I'll leave that up to you because that is your sacred space. That is who you are as an individual. And that is where you are living. And when you decide to feel that you are recharged and, you know, cleansed of all that lower energy, then you can step back into the higher frequency of love, joy, and happiness, which you all absolutely and truly deserve. Because that is who you are. That is what you guys came here for. And there's nothing but love in all that we do and in every step that we take. So, I wanted to keep this one short. <laughs> oh, all my VS girls, I miss you all so much. Um, so yeah, so if you guys don't have any questions, you guys could definitely watch this over and over again to get the gist of the understanding of the importance of how important it is to disconnect to reconnect to who you really are as a person before you step back into any energy. Yes, <laughs> definitely guys get some rest. Exactly. Explain what releasing will bring in. So, when you release what no longer serves you, when you disconnect from all that lower energy, you're able to take a, a, a larger look at yourself. You're able to step back and analyze what it is that you have disconnected from. And you really look at, at the energy in its plain vision, in its plain state. And you see, was it really worth it for you to really be in an energy? And was it really worth for you to stay in an energy to allow it to simply be as it is meant to be? And when you let it go, then you say, okay, you feel a lot lighter, you feel a lot happier, you feel a lot more joyous. And yet, you know, if it, whether if it's a place of work that you constantly step into or if it's an environment that's not agreeing with your energy, then you have to allow yourself to do, make the choice. Do you want to step back into that energy or do you want to choose another path? That choice I will leave up to you because if it's a job, then you have to change how you step into that energy. And if it's something that other than that's not um, a necessity, then you have to look at it from a different angle. So yes, talk about how looking at what we don't want can, but yes. So when you look at things that you don't want from a perspective as just bringing it into your into your 
personal space. So when you look at how we can, looking at something that you don't want can really allow for your vision to be skewed in the... <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey, Tamika. Um... So, you know, sorry for you guys. I just had a little moment. <laughs> I just had a little moment here in at home in my apartment here. Um, I just lost all train of thoughts. Let's answer, read my question again. <laughs> Talk about how you don't want. Play your vision of what you want. So, going back on track, and for those of you that are watching on Periscope, um, I'm having an entertaining time on my Facebook live stream. So if you're not on Pear, if you're not on Facebook, find me at Hillis Pew, same thing. Um, and you guys can join the, the conversation on Facebook. It's so much fun. Um, so what, and what it is that we don't want, we get blindsided because we get caught up in this energy of, oh, it feels good. I want it. I want it. I want it. It feels good. And, it's, we're walking around with the blinders on, okay? And that's how our vision becomes a bug because we get caught up in the moment of what's happening in that moment and what it is that we think that we want, that we have attracted into our experience to find out later on that it's something that we don't want, okay? And it blows our vision because it's like we are in this place, we're in this energy, we're in this moment. It's like everything is happening so fast, so quickly. And now that we feel that, okay, we don't want it anymore, we have to learn to let it go. And the letting go part is when we come to a place of grieving. And for those of you that frequently follow me, I talked about grieving before, but just to, you know, grieving of something that, of letting go of something is not necessarily sadness, but it's also joy too. It's also the upliftingness of allowing something new to come into your world. It's the newness of, of love and joy and happiness of all things that you truly want coming into your experience here and now in this moment. Everything that you've manifested, you know, from being disconnected and only to connect inside. And that's, that's what I really want to drive home with everyone because we get so caught up um, in the social media and, and everything else that's going on in the day-to-day -day that we get caught up in the stream of it all. We get caught up in the absoluteness of this is what it is. And if it doesn't come out this way, then we get so stuck on it not being a certain way, then we are just stuck on that outcome and then we get so upset and so disappointed that when it happens then it's like okay now what do I do right so I'm going to tell you what to do <laughs> um, it's just you just have to let it go and there's no other way to say you just have to release it period and you have to find a way to let it go and if the same issues keep coming back then you really didn't learn that lesson the first go around and that lesson is meant for you to keep learning it until you really, really get it. And believe me, from personal experience, um, I have had that before where, you know, lessons kept coming back, kept creeping up after I thought I've learned the lesson. So once you feel that you finally get it, the lessons go away and then something else comes in its place for you to learn it again so it's the next level so you guys are evolving exactly so you are evolving from that place so what you can solve yes exactly Kristen um JD I'm gonna get to your question in a second so yeah you guys have so when you guys release that lesson you guys have learned everything that you need to learn then you have evolved into the next level of lessons to learn from so JDC so how do you remove yourself from a negative environment or a place that gets you into a negative state of mind? Now see, <laughs> you and I have had this talk many times, many times. Um, so yeah, just a little, little personal history. JDC used to be my uh, boss 
at Victoria's Secret now would there. Loved her so much. Uh, I still love her to this day. Um, but the, <laughs> but uh, the only thing that you could honestly really do is to remove yourself from a negative environment. Mm -hmm. Is to really meditate on it. Is to, to meditate on it and to uh, write down affirmations and not just you know, uh, write down positive affirmations about the environment that you do want. And and I say affirmation meaning an I am statement. And I am are the two most powerful words in the English language put together. And anything that follows I am manifests uh, the desires that we truly want in our lives. So in order for you to create a better and more positive inviting environment, it's up to you to use the energy that you have within yourself to create an energy that you truly desire. And I'm going to send you a little uh, one-off uh, off of this video because, you know, uh, the experience that I had upon my uh, departure created the world that I truly, truly wanted, which is where I'm at right now. Uh, JDC. So yeah, I'm going to have to do a one-off with you. But for you and everyone else that's listening, I am positive affirmations are the best things to start to create the world that you really want. And all it takes is a few moments of your time, of your day, of your energy to really disconnect from everything else and connect within yourself to be honest and open with what you really, really, really want. Whether if it's a job, a uh, personal life, boyfriend, it doesn't matter. When you say, I am, or I am wanting, or I am creating, or I am manifesting, it, or I am abundant, anything that you say after those two words will manifest with pure intention of your truest desires. I cannot express that enough for all of you that are watching and listening. Um, so, yes, if we are talking about putting negative... If we, if we are talking and putting energy into the negative, yes, exactly. So if you want to stop and complain, then you are bringing more complaining. If you are stopping and complaining about the situation, you're bringing and inviting more of that same energy around you. So you have to be mindful and more aware of what it is or what you say and how you say it. You say things with love. You say things with positive energy. You say things with... Um, just pure intention and all of that will follow through it may not show up instantly but it will show up um definitely a lot more uh readily when you are ready to receive it i'm sorry i'm just throwing off right now because i'm seeing a few of more of my uh, vs people from the past popping up in this uh live stream it's amazing to see that um Yes, exactly. I know. So I will be doing more of these now that um, I see that Facebook has taken over my Periscope live stream because, you know, right now I use, have no one watching me on Periscope right now, but I have all my people on Facebook. So it's amazing. So, yeah, so if, uh, if you guys are just chiming in or popping up and popping in and popping out, definitely come watch this as long as it's, as it's on my Facebook. And, um... Just want to give you guys some news. I have some exciting news to share with all of you before I uh, pop out for the day. I am, uh, for 2016, going to be coming out with a new book, Awaken with Gratitude. And it's all about my personal uh, observations about gratitude and how it changed my life and how I observed gratitude in my everyday. There's no date for it yet, but it will be coming out soon. Also, want to let you guys know that I will be doing a podcast starting this year. There's no date for that yet either, but everybody stay tuned for that. Um, I'm not sure of name or anything. Just know that there will be a podcast coming up uh, this year. And finally, there's no date for this either, but I will start planning a gratitude session seminars live in the NYC area and I might do those on live stream as well so um, there's a lot of 
opportunity and a lot of things happening so you guys definitely stay tuned to Facebook and my website which is hillispew.com and thank you Rocky for posting that and uh, you guys launch party ha <laughs> you know what I haven't even thought about that Michelle but there will be some uh, interesting goings on uh, that I'm having ideas for about the book so you guys can definitely stay tuned uh, for that check out my website and definitely sign up for the newsletter so if you go to my I think it's my author page on Facebook you guys can definitely sign up for the newsletter on there or if not definitely go to the uh, website and sign up for the newsletter on there to be sure that you guys get all of the um, news and the latest updates about what's going on with me going on uh, for the rest of this year you guys have an amazing amazing absolute wonderful Sunday and make sure that you guys take some time for you to rest to rejuvenate and connect from within have an amazing day Yay!